Let's talk about detoxification. It's springtime here in the Northern Hemisphere. We're seeing all of these delicious greens and bitters and things that affect the flow through our liver, through our lymphatic system, which is incredibly important for getting rid and eliminating some of the toxins that we're exposed to. In modern life, we are exposed to an incredible amount of toxins in our air, in our water, in our food, in our cosmetic and beauty supplies, in our cleaning supplies. There is this level of toxicity that we have never experienced as a human race before that we are now experiencing in modern life. And we really want to be cognizant of tending to our body and our elimination routes. Now, I'm not talking about detoxification as a uh, detox product or some kind of cleanse that requires all these additives to the body. I'm talking about supporting the natural detoxification function that happens in our body. Our body is constantly detoxifying through our liver, through our lymphatics, and we want to help support that from a quantum biological perspective. Some of the greens and things that we see popping up in springtime, dandelion, some of the bitters, are a wonderful way to increase bile production, support flow through our liver. Our liver is what goes through that three-step detoxification function where we are pulling in different toxins, we are conjugating them, they become more water soluble, and then we're attaching them to bile so that we can excrete them out. So our detoxification pathways, when we're looking at them from a naturopathic perspective, they were called, and they're still called today, humunctories, right? We want to make sure that we're sweating to get toxins out. We want to make sure that we're having bowel movements so that we're getting that bile bound to toxins, getting rid of that on a daily schedule, that we are urinating properly, our kidneys are detoxifying those toxins, our breath is a major route of detoxification, our skin is a route of detoxification, we want to make sure that we are not lathering it with toxins and different cosmetics, that it is allowed to breathe, so to speak, right? It is an incredibly large detoxification and endocrine organ in the body and we often don't think of it that way. Making sure that we have adequate flow in our saliva and our lymphatic network. Now this is where that liquid crystal structure of water comes into play. In our body, those hydrophilic surfaces, those water-loving surfaces that happen in our fascia, in our cell membranes, surrounding our lymphatic tissue and lymphatic vessels, that creates a different structure of water. It's called by Gerald Pollack. He was the first to discover this different phase of water. He calls it EZ, exclusion zone water. It's also known as cell bound water, interfacial water, liquid crystal water. This type of water takes on a different structure. And Gerald Pollack theorizes that it takes on a hexagonal lattice shape. And as this water builds, it pushes out particles of a certain size. It pushes out proteins, albumins, it pushes out everything that's bigger than potassium. So it's keeping out sodium and it's keeping out toxins. So tending to this liquid crystalline network in the body actually has a role in detoxification and eliminating toxins from the body. We can push them out as we build this layer of water in the body and push them into the lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system, we want to be adequately hydrating. There are six main spots where our lymph nodes are acting sort of as filters for that flow of lymphatics. Our lymphatics are this fluid that gets leaked out of our vascular system of the circulation of blood in our blood vessels. It goes into the extracellular matrix into the lymphatic flow, which then encounters our lymph nodes, these filters that pick up on toxins and different substances in the lymphatic system. And there are a lot of lymph nodes right behind our ear on our neck, right here on the collarbone, underneath the armpit, 
on our abdomen in the mesentery area, in that groin crease where our leg is attached to our groin and right behind the knee. So what we can do to help that lymphatic flow is we can rub that area very lightly, we can tap that area, we can kind of just pump where we're pressing back and forth on that area to increase lymphatic flow. And we always want to start in the collarbone. This is where all of that lymphatic comes back. All of that lymphatic fluid comes back and is dumped back into the system. It is happening right here at the collarbone. So we can start here. We can have some light rubbing for a few seconds. We can tap on that area. We can pump that area on both sides. We can then move to the lymphatic tissue on our neck then down in our axillary armpit area we can rub that lymphatic tissue in our abdomen that holds the bulk of our lymphatics we can go to that inguinal crease that groin crease where our leg meets our abdomen and then behind our knee we can shake we can move we can rebound that is going to pump our lymphatic tissue. Dr. Perry with Stop Chasing Pain does incredible work with how to get the lymphatics going, but starting with a practice like that, tending to those areas right there to get the lymphatic flow going is a wonderful way to help get flow in that lymphatic network. We build that liquid crystalline water by drinking mineralized water, energized, coherent water, hydrating that body, adding infrared energy to the system. That's what Pollock and his team out of the University of Washington found builds this liquid crystalline water. This liquid crystalline water is negatively charged. It has a negative electrical charge. Right outside of this water is this positive zone of water. They call it proton-rich zone or a proton wire. This creates a separation of charge. So this water that's lining our lymphatic lymphatic system, our vascular system, our cells, our fascia, it's creating this water battery. And if we can stay hydrated, if we can build that with adding infrared energy to our body, whether that's by going outside, anytime the sun is up, we are enveloped in infrared energy. It doesn't have to be direct sunlight. Even in the shade, we are completely surrounded by this infrared energy. And that is helping build that liquid crystal water. It's helping push those toxins into our lymphatic system. Movement creates infrared energy. Saunas create infrared energy. This helps build that liquid crystal water, pushing toxins into our lymphatic system, and then getting that lymphatic system to flow with actual movement, tapping on these areas, with hydration, again, is going to be important, with different things like... Uh, bitter herbs and cilantro and parsley and dandelion, rocket, arugula. All of these things are wonderful for increasing that bitter flow, that bile flow through the liver and really helping to reset the body after a winter of low light, sometimes low activity, springtime is a wonderful time to tend to that elimination and detoxification. Now there's been incredible research showing that just avoiding toxins for a couple weeks has a dramatic influence on the toxic load of the body. So springtime is a great time to do this. It doesn't require expensive products and uh, devices. We can try our best to eat whole foods, foods that are not packaged and processed that don't have toxins in them, organic foods, we can be really mindful for two weeks. We can get lots of bitters in our diet. Ginger is a wonderful way to help with the lymphatic flow. We can be mindful of building that liquid crystal water in us, pushing toxins into the lymphatics, doing that lymphatic drainage exercise, rubbing 
those, tapping those, pumping those, shaking the body, moving the body so that the lymphatics are flowing and that we're able to get rid of some of that accumulation that we've been accumulating over the year. Springtime is a wonderful way to do that. So I hope you all have a beautiful spring. It's equinox here in the northern hemisphere, spring equinox, and it's a wonderful time to start tending to our elimination detoxification because we know these things have an incredible impact on our overall health and biology and tending to that elimination can be as easy as avoiding them, getting some greens and bitters in the diet and tending to that flow of fluid and lymphatics in the body. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like this content, subscribe down below and stay tuned for more.